Hey, what's up everyone? This uh, Delta Lab that I repaired a while ago uh, is having an issue with this uh, switch right here. The two second delay switch. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to uh, push it really hard or uh, shake it a little bit to get it to work. Now, I've had a couple of requests from people on uh, showing how to take these switches apart because uh, apparently other people are having the same issue with their switches on their Delta Labs. So in this video, I'm going to take this switch apart and we're going to clean it out and I'll show you how to do that. You got to be careful when you take these apart because there's little, uh, uh, I believe there's little springs in there that can come flying out. I don't remember. I think, I think these have little springs in there, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll take it apart. We'll clean it out. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys. So this is the Delta Lab that I repaired a while back. Uh, I put a new battery in it and uh, cleaned it up. And uh, this is the switch right here that we're going to take apart. So uh, let me zoom in on it. Okay, so pretty much uh, all the Delta Lab delays uh, use the same same switches. So... They're all the same, no matter which model you have. Uh, so this is the one right here that we want to take apart. So you see these tabs right here? Okay, one, two, three, four. They need to be bent up. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna bend these up. Okay. These aren't the best pliers in the world, but they'll get the job done. Okay, that should be okay. All right. All right, guys. So uh, let's see if I can move this. Okay, so we have to, you have to push this spring back right here. Okay. So the, basically what we have to do is take out the actual uh, button. All right. And uh, the way to do that is push this spring back. Okay. And hold it back there okay and while we're holding that back we pop it up right here okay make sure that's not connecting move this up a little bit just like that okay now we've loosened it okay now we have to pull it out but it's not going to come out uh, because there's a connection holding it in place. So what we have to do is push another button and then this will just pop out. Okay, so if I push that, see how it just popped out? And now it just comes out. Okay, and here's where you have to be careful. Okay, because this, you've got to pull it out nice and slow. Okay, because if you look here, you see these things here? Okay, these are the contacts, this and this on this side, okay? And they're held in by those little springs, okay? Right there. So if you lose those springs, you're done. It's over with, all right? So we're going to clean this, we're going to clean that, and I'm going to stick a Q-tip in there and clean the, the sides where it makes contact too. All right, guys, so I'm just going to use a little alcohol to uh, clean it, okay? And uh, we'll start by cleaning the switch. doesn't look that dirty. Oh, see how it comes out? That's, that's where you get into trouble, okay? You can lose the spring easily. All right, now turn it around and clean this side. Okay, that's good. Springs are still in there. Everything's good. All right, let me put that on the side. And let's try to get in here and uh, clean this with a Q-tip.
Yeah, actually, it's uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a little bit. It's got a little uh, dirt in there. Okay. Uh, we probably could have just sprayed it. Let me put some cleaner in there too. Some of this uh, CRC cleaner. And then that should be fine after that. Okay. Just spray it in there. <clears throat> this stuff dries pretty quick, so should be a problem. Okay. All right, I think it's uh, good and dry, so I'm gonna put the switch back in. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, it goes this way. This this little thing here, okay, this little notch goes on top. Uh, now I'll show you what that notch is for in a minute, but let's uh, let's try to put it in without losing the springs. Now, when you put it back in, it's not gonna go in. Okay, unless, see it only goes there, it doesn't go in. So you have to push another button and then it'll, it should slide in when you put it where it belongs, right there, okay? See it won't go in, but if I push the button, it slides right in, okay? And that's it, okay? Now notice how they all have that that notch on top right there that I showed you. See that? We all have that, okay? So the way these buttons work is you push one and you can't push it out. See that? It doesn't come out until you push another one. And then pushing the other one causes that one to pop out, okay? Now, this red button here is different. This one, you can push it in and to pop it out, you just push it out, right? Goes in goes out okay and the reason is because it has this little piece of metal here okay and what that metal does is when you push it in okay see how it turns and goes into that little groove right there that's remember that groove we saw that little notch then when you push it in again it goes out of the groove on this side and allows it to come back out okay so that's what that notch is for, okay? But these don't work that way. This one has the metal uh, going into the notch because this one, you can push it and then push it again to release it, okay? So that's what that's for. Uh, uh, on a lot of this old gear, like the old Roland gear and the uh, Yamaha SPX90 and you know, all that old gear, the power switches work that way. Uh, and what happens is this little plastic here this notch gets worn out and this doesn't catch so the power switch won't stay on okay so you could always replace that thing with uh if you lose it you could always use a staple okay and just bend it to the right shape and uh that would work okay but uh this uh this should be good now this this should work um let's uh let's see if it works let's try it out all right i almost forgot i have to uh push these tabs back down so let me do that all right that should be good let's let's see if it works yep guys it's working and uh, that's how you open this up now you don't have to open it up you could just uh, probably just spray the cleaner in there and it would probably work uh, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you how you know how this is set up with the little springs and all that stuff so 
uh, that's how you take it out. And just be careful not to lose those springs because they will fly out.